ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் இஸ் தேர் எ ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் ஆர்டர் இன் விச் ஒன் ஷுட் சீக் நாலேஜ் இன் ஸ்ரீ வைஷ்ணவ சம்பிரதாயம் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் ஒர்க்ஸ் பை அவர் பூர்வாச்சாரியர்ஸ் இட் இஸ் வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் அண்ட் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கொஸ்டின் ஆஃபன் டைம்ஸ் வி சி பீப்புள் கம்மிங் இன் டு அவர் சம்பிரதாயம் நியூலி அண்ட் தே ஹேவ் திஸ் craving to learn more and more so they start listening to some lectures listen, reading some books and so on and sometimes we just engage in what we get instead of trying to uh, systematically study so here we have to understand certain basic aspects in our sampradaya after panch sanskaram one has to understand some of the basic principles of our Shri Vaishnava Sampradayam such as what is Pancha Samskaram, what is Guru Parampara, what is Acharya Nishthe, what is Kankaryam, what, is, what are Apacharams. So there are so many basic aspects. First, we have to study these things. We can, uh, we have lots of information in our website, coil.org website and YouTube channel on these basic concepts and surely there are also probably other resources where we will have number of these um, in important information. So we have to start with these basic principles which we need to get good clarity on. This can be there for a month or a few weeks. Within a few weeks or a month we should be good with basic understandings of our sampradayam and then we have to move on to the systematic study first one has to study mumukshupadi mumukshupadi is a very important grantham again we have lectures of mumukshupadi in both tamil and english in our youtube channel it is the explanation given by pulilokacharya for Rahasya Trayam, that is Tirmantram, Daya Mahamantram and Sharma Shlokam. And Manavad Mamnigal has written a beautiful elaborate commentary for the explanation given by Pillai Lokacharya. So, if we go through Mumukshupadi with the Vyakyanam of Manavad Mamnigal, we will have very good foundation in our Sampradaya because it explains about Tirmantram, Daya Mahamantram and Charma Shlokam in very great detail. Subsequently, after Mamukshupadi, then we have to step back and study Divya Prabandhams, study other Rahasya Granthams, study a little bit of uh, Sanskrit Stotrams and when we say study, it implies both studying the base text source text, that is shlokams or pasrams and meanings as well. So these need to be studied systematically with fixed schedule. Most people what happens is when we have time we go through some articles, some lectures and so on. But that is not sufficient because this is about Atma, this is about Bhagavan, this is about Upayam, this is about Upayam and many other aspects. So for these aspects to have clarity, one should dedicate at least a couple of hours every day with proper guidance and uh, proper follow-up. For example, we should have a chart of what are all we reading, what are all we uh, hearing and ensure that we fill in every day that one hour lecture was heard, half an hour reading was done. We uh, make a note of our time dedicated in this and also measure our progress by repeatedly thinking about what was studied, what was heard, trying to recollect all the principles, trying to, to um, even present whatever we have learned to our friends and relatives who are willing to listen to these things. So this way we will get good uh, handle on the 
subjects. So after Mumukshapadi, one has to study basic Divya Prabhantam, at least Srinityana Sandhanam Pasarams, Stotrams, along with their meanings. And then one can move on to other topics. One can listen to Bhagavad Gishayam, that is uh, Tiruvayamuri Kalakshapam. One can listen to uh, Ragasya Grantham such as Sri Vachana Bhushanam, Acharya Hridayam, Tattvatrayam and so on. So these are all um, supposed to be heard subsequently. First, very basic information we need to gather and understand and then Mamukshupadi and then little bit of Divya Prabandham, Nityan Sandhanam and some basic Stotram and then we can go to Bhagavad Gishayam and uh, Rahasya Trayam and so on. Now those who are more familiar with Sanskritam and more interested with Sanskritam Prabandhams, one can certainly listen to Purvacharya's Stotras, um, Bhagavad Ramanuja's Gadya Trayam, uh, Adavantar's Yamunacharya's Stotratnam, Chatushloki, Parashara Bhattar's Ashtashloki. There are so many wonderful Sanskrit Granthams. Those can be also studied along. So these are some ideas, but foundation is basic concepts of Sri Vaishnava and then immediately one has to listen to Mumukshupadi because we may have heard from the Acharya the three mantras that is Tirumantram, Ashtaksharam, Dvaya Mahamantram and then of course Charma Shlokam, Gita Charma Shlokam. But for that we should hear the detailed meanings. After Mumukshupadi we can listen to and read about Divya Prabandhams and then subsequently more Rahasya Granthams. Ultimately one has to be very good with certain important Rahasya Granthams such as Sri Vachana Bhushanam, Acharya Hridayam, Mumukshupadi and so on, Tattatrayam and so on. Because that is what is going to help us understand ourselves and act in this samsara without getting into more apacharams or offenses. So with this knowledge only we can make further progress. So hopefully this gives a reasonable idea about um, how to, in which sequence we should seek knowledge on our Sri Vishnu Sampradaya. Alvar in Perumana, Jia Thirudigade Sharanam, Jia Thirudigade Sharanam. To learn such valuable information about our Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya, please download Koyil, K O Y I L app from Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Our website is koyil.org, K O Y I L dot O R G.